Sir. You can start. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Dennis Dyer, and I'm an instructional designer for the Distance Education and Educational Technology Department, DEET, here at Central Texas College. And with me is Raisa Ruiz. She is a quality assurance specialist for the Distance Education Department as well. We will provide a Blackboard overview, which is our learning management system. We'll also discuss a few topics that will help students succeed in their academic life. And this session will also dissipate doubts and answer the most common questions that current and future students could have regarding online courses and online programs here at Central Texas College. <coughs> so without further ado, let's get the ball rolling, Risa. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Riza. Um, the first topic today I'm gonna to be discussing is how long are online courses? Well, that varies. We actually have from three to 16 week courses. Majority of our 16 week courses will be available in our spring, which is January and fall, which is August. But we do have a start date, a start date available every month. To locate the schedule, of our online courses, you can go through our main CTC website, go through the academics tab, and go to class schedules. Once you click on class schedules, you can locate our central campus, continuing education, Fort Hood campus, service areas, and distance education for Go Army Ed. The example that I have set up at this moment, since we are done with our spring semester and we're jumping into our summer one and summer two courses, as you can tell on the schedule, distance learning online classes, you can see that it varies from three all the way to 16 week courses, just depending on the start date that you selected. You still have time if you're interested we have June 1st courses. The last day to register is May 28th, which is coming up soon. You can see that it does show the availability of the last day to drop and the last day to withdraw. You can also look at our online schedule at online.ctc.edu. Go to quick links, click on online schedule, this will take you to our main page. Here you want to go to the middle of the page where it says show me online and online blended courses. You want to click the start date that you're interested in. So let's choose June 1st, since that's next Monday. Once that loads, you can actually see from each department which classes are available and how long the course is and which instructor is going to be teaching the course. So for example, our first department aviation, you can see that it's a 10 week course. It'll end August 7th and Richard Whitsell is the instructor. It's pretty simple. It's not that hard. From there, we actually offer different online methods. So here, I'm gonna pass it over to Dennis. All right, thank you, thank you. Now, since, since we're talking about delivery methods, let me briefly uh, share this. Central Texas College offers three main delivery methods. We have lecture courses, blended courses, and online courses. Lecture courses, those are your face-to-face -face courses. Blended courses, those are also known as hybrid courses because at least 50% of the course is online and the other 50% is face-to-face. -face. So blended courses are a mix between face-to-face -face and online. Now, when it comes to online courses, we have two types. We have traditional online courses and online self-paced courses. And the difference is simple. In traditional online courses, all assignments and assessments in the course have a specific due dates throughout the semester. 
And those due dates are assigned by the instructor. Now, online self-paced courses are more flexible because the students can submit their assignments and take assessments at any moment during the length of the course. So self-paced courses do not have a specific due dates during the semester. However, every assignment and assessment must be completed before the course ends. In both cases, traditional online or online self-paced courses, they allow students to continue their education and accomplish their educational goals from anywhere in the world, anywhere. So if we move to the next, to, to, to the next topic, let's talk about online degrees and certificates. Now, CTC offers more than 25 fully online degrees and more than 35 certificates. We have online degrees and certificates for essentially everybody. So check out our website at www.ctcd.edu to find out the exact online courses you need to take as a student to get your degree or certificate. Back to you, Risa. Okay, so as an online student, I know a lot of people normally ask, when, I'm, when do I have access? Well, normally you have three days prior to your start date. So how Monday is our first start date for June, you'll actually have access this Thursday. I'm gonna show you an example how to sign into our Blackboard. We have a student account. So when you sign in, this is going to be the main platform that you see. You're going to see my institution, courses, organizations, tutoring, and tech support. The first thing that you want to look for is your courses. It's going to be listed on your right hand side, or you can also click on courses and they'll be available here as well. When you click on the link, it'll take you to the announcements page. If your instructor has any type of welcome message or any type of updates throughout the course, they'll have it listed here for you. The main um, links that I'm going to cover is messages. So then that way you can actually keep in contact with your instructor going back and forth. You'll have your instructor info. Your instructor will provide their email address if they have a work phone number um, at this time, they're actually working remote. So you'll probably be more in contact through email. Syllabus page one is our important information because here you're going to have your course description, your learning outcomes that you're going to learn throughout the course, and of course your course materials, which will link you to uh, our course, the CTC book instructional materials. So then that way, if you need to order it from our bookstore, you can. Syllabus page two is kind of like the meat and potatoes because it has our the it'll list the assignments and the course schedule. Your instructor will have all the assignments, all the lessons and due dates um, for you to stay on track to, you know, maintain your work. You'll also have exam information if you have more than one or if references are allowed, your time limit and the days that it needs to be due. And then your course grade. Here, either you'll be using percentage or points, just depends on how the course is developed, but at least this will let you know what your total points needs to be. If So then that way you can uh, maintain what your grade is throughout the course. If you click on lessons, you'll either have le uh, lessons one through four or up to eight. Um, they can either be called units or modules, just depending on the course itself. Once you click into the lesson, you'll actually see 
an introduction, your learning objectives, the learning activities, the assignments that needs to be completed for that lesson. You'll also probably have some other extra projects that you might need to complete, and they can be in this link as well. The discussion board is another way for you to communicate with your other classmates because we want you to feel that even though you're not face to face in a classroom setting, you can still reach out to other classmates if you might have the same question. And then that way the instructor can actually answer it and everybody sees it. Exams, you'll have your exam set in here. Um, if your instructor wants to provide any type of additional lecture notes or study guides, you might see these as well. Um, other than that, I know this is kind of jumping into the next one for Dennis, but through Blackboard, you can also go through organizations and tutoring. Click on tutoring and then you can actually enroll into our English tutor and math tutoring. If those are the one of the online classes that you're additionally taking, you know, during the semester and you need that extra help, these are available for you. And back to you, Dennis. Now, since we're talking about uh, courses, online course, it's also important to keep in mind that now Central Texas College offers OER courses. OER means Open Educational resources. So those courses, courses that are listed as OER when you go to you to to the online schedule and you find that some courses may be listed as OER. That means that for those specific courses, if you could go back to the online schedule, please Risa, that would be wonderful. Yeah. So some courses, there's a column for OER. And here, for example, if you go to business 1371, you will see OER Jess next to the instructor's name, Drake Chester. So what OER means that if you enroll in one of these courses, you will not have to purchase a textbook. All those materials will be provided to you. And so as a student, you will be saving considerable amounts of, of money when it comes to textbook, since we know that the price of textbooks keep going up and up every year. So that's a good option as well to consider taking not just online courses, but OER courses as well here at Central Texas College. Now, if, if we could go back to this slide, please, Risa. Now let's talk at about academic success. Let's talk briefly about academic success because we could talk about all, about this, this tool that we have here all day long, but let me summarize it for you. If you as a student are taking face-to-face -face or online courses, we have the tools to help you succeed in your academic journey. We have the academic studio. Please, if, if, if you have that window open, that would be great. So, so we have the academic studio, which provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring in a variety of subjects to both face-to-face -face and online students. The academic studio will also help you sharpen your study skills by providing advice on time management, exam preparation, and even note-taking. Other services include proofreading of papers, presentations, projects, you name it. There is always a tutor available for you. And you can also check out laptops, tablets, and calculators. So if you need assistance with any any of your courses, do not hesitate to contact the academic studio. Now, Risa, uh, I know that in the past you have taken online courses here at CTC. 
How was your experience taking online courses? If, if you could please share that with everybody. Yeah. Um, obviously, first you're nervous because you don't know what to expect. Um, you know, going from a face to face setting, you know, you're used to the instructor being there and being in, you know, in a classroom surrounding with other students. So being online, you're just like, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know how I'm going to maintain this. Am I going to be up to date? Am I going to fall behind? Um, so I actually took the plunge, you know, one fall semester and took a 16 week course and it wasn't as bad as I thought. Um, spring semester, I decided to take another one, maybe a 12 week, you know, to see how that platform was and I liked it. And then summer, since we do have two summer schedules, I ended up actually taking two eight week courses. So I was actually able to finish my degree a little bit faster than I intended. Because, you know, once you get that first, you know, notch under the belt and you know what to expect and you see how everything's, you know, is running smooth, you know, you're not scared of taking online classes anymore. And that's something, you know, that I love doing and obviously I kept doing it because now I'm working on my master's. <laughs> so, and you, Dennis? Well, now that you mentioned being scared, that's, I think that's a common feeling for all of us who have ever taken a, a an online course. So I'm with you there. Well, in my case, I had an enjoyable experience taking online courses here, especially here at CTC. And mainly because I was able to get help from my instructors every single time I emailed them. They were very responsive when I had questions or doubts about the material. To me, the most critical aspect of online courses is communication, communication, communication. And the courses were also and are still well structured because I was able to easily find all the information I needed about the assignments, the assessments, the expectations, the due dates, you know, and all other components of the course. So knowing all this information since the first day of class me planning how to manage my time for each of the activities in the course. And you know, after taking a few online courses, you truly get to appreciate those instructors who update their courses on time and continuously communicate with the students. I think those are the great, those are great instructors. And of course, as any other student, I had trouble understanding some subjects. In my case, math and English, I, I remember those two, and I think those are the most common subjects for most students having trouble with. And so for those two subjects that were difficult to me, the tutors were just amazing. Mm -hmm. they, helped, they helped me understand those crazy looking formulas in math and they also helped me proofread my my papers and I think that's the best part. They helped me proofread my papers plenty, plenty, plenty of times, countless times since, especially since English is my second language. But, but overall, the information provided in the courses a fast response from the instructors and all those helpful tutors made my student life so much easier. And that was a great experience. Mm -hmm. To piggyback on the tutoring, I, I would have to say the writing lab is also amazing, especially like you said, with the proofreading on the papers, because they give you around a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. So, you know, you actually have someone who is you know grammar expert so then they give you great great feedback on how to make your paper better right and definitely and and you know we have online tutors and face-to-face -face tutors so 
we have the tools to help succeed, to help all the students succeed in their academic courses. So we have the tools, we have the resources, you just take advantage of those. Yes, and then, you know, we also have our tech support if they have any issues during their Blackboard experience. We have the 24 seven Blackboard support that they can always call or, you know, our DE tech support that they can always email if they're needing assistance as well. That's correct. You are correct, Raisa. We have 24-7 support, 365 days. And anytime, just email us and we'll get back to you. We'll get back to you and, and help you with, with any issue you have. So, Mariceli, do you have any questions for us? Or is there any question from our viewers? Yes, hi. So, um, there's been a lot of questions about what's going to be happening uh, with the classes in the summer and in the fall, uh, because a lot of students are used to either not taking online classes and all of a sudden, you know, at the end of spring, they had to, everything went online. So um, I think they want to know if classes are going to be completely online in the summer or if they're going to be in the fall. I'm not sure if you have that answer, but if you do, that'd be great if you share it. And if not, I can give the, sh the answer that I know. <laughs> I do not have an official answer, but no. perhaps. Okay. Well, then I'll, I'll answer it then, but it's just that it's something that's come up multiple times. Um, right now, it's my understanding, everything that starts at the beginning of June has will be done through Blackboard or Collaborate. So everything online, um, some classes maybe at the end of the fall or fall, uh, not fall, at the end of summer or, or in summer two classes may have a classroom component, but that is still not finalized yet. And we definitely don't have answers specifically for fall yet because everything is so, um, it's fluctuating and Central Texas College is taking a very serious approach to everybody's health. So they're trying to comply with CDC uh, guidelines, as well as depending on the program of study, there might be other entities that are may have other requirements. Uh, for example, I know aviation has to deal with FAA and their requirements, and there's other departments like that that may have to deal with other areas. So right now, we don't know yet what's going to happen in the fall. The summer is going to start everything uh, on Blackboard or Collaborate, so it's pretty much going to be online. And we'll see what happens by the end, by July. So, uh, this is Karen Davis. Hello. Oh, I was just going to bring up something else. Do you have something to add to that? Yes, this is Sharon Davis. I'm the Dean of Educational Technology, which includes the, the Distance Education Department. And uh, my understanding is that the course, the summer courses will start online. Uh, if any of the restrictions get um, changed, then it's possible that they will possibly go to face-to-face. -to -face. Uh, already, some of the labs, specifically in science and nursing, are uh, going to be face to face, but they're scheduling them so that there is minimal contact among students. Uh, my I, my understanding is also that probably for fall we'll start out remote, which means online, but those may change during the semester as well. Thank you. Thank you. Is there uh, anything that you would like to add or? Uh, no, I just wanted, uh, I was just going to go on to something else. And I was wondering, um, it's my understanding that you guys have a uh, recorded on a Blackboard orientation that maybe some students that might be interested in uh, kind of going over. Is it possible for you to sh uh, show where that's located for everybody? Yep. If you're in your Blackboard course and you click start here, have some available links under student resources and our orientation is here when you click on the link so whenever they have time and they want to see the orientation they're more than willing to come
now let me see I had um I went ahead and posted where that's where some of that's located on the Facebook page okay. so that your students can know that um mm -hmm. And there's also some great information under quick links right here as well for student resources. Excellent. And um, I know in your department for distance education, they also, you guys help uh, when a, when a, if, I know you have the Blackboard help, but sometimes if there's something else, do you guys step in or is it just the Blackboard help? I guess it's depending on what it pertains. Because if it deals with, because I know we've had it some, uh, you know, with the student email, unfortunately, that's, you know, IT department. If it's, you know, tutoring, that's academic. So, I mean, it just really depends on, you know, if they still just want to reach out to at least one person, um, Professor Dietz, you know, uh, we do try to point them in the right direction on who they need to contact. And how do they, uh, how do they contact Professor Deeds? Either they can email them or they do already have a Blackboard account. Okay, uh, what's the email for Professor Deeds? Uh, P-R-O-F-D-E-E-T-S at ctcd.edu. I'm going to go ahead and post that as well, just in case somebody else has questions. Um, and I think those are all the questions that we have from individuals online right now. Thank you very much. I think it's really great um, that you're doing this. It's going to be really helpful, I think, for students that are having questions on how to navigate Blackboard or if they are going to be able to take classes. Um, online how that's going to work and if they could complete a degree online so thank you very much for that dennis do you have anything all right thank you thank you mary uh well that's all we have for you today thanks to all of you for listening i'm dennis dyer and with me was risa ruiz on behalf of the distance education and educational technology department did we hope this session has been helpful to you if you would like to know specific details about the online programs and online courses offered here at central texas college visit our website at www.ctcd.edu have a beautiful day whatever you are goodbye